Hey guys, it's Jen. Welcome to my channel. I am so excited today to be bringing you a massive haul and everything I'm going to show you was included as part of the Disney Vacation Club seven night member cruise and there is some amazing stuff here and I'm really glad you're here. So before we get started, if you would do me a kindness and make sure you are subscribed to the channel. I have set a goal for myself to hopefully be at 10,000 subscribers by the end of the year. I feel like we can do it, but I really need all of you that regularly watch and love the content to make sure you subscribe and then make sure you hit that little bell notification so that you are always notified when I come out with a new video. So before I had actually been on my own member cruise, I had heard about the swag. I had heard that they give you gifts every day. I wasn't really sure what to expect, but y'all, really and truly, every single day, most days twice a day, we had gifts waiting for us in our stateroom. So every time we came back to our stateroom, whether it was in the afternoon to get ready for dinner or when we came back after dinner at night, there were beautifully presented gifts. And I was really blown away, uh, not only by the quality of the gifts, but by the presentation and the intentionality. So a couple quick things to note about a Disney Vacation Club member cruise. DVC actually charters the boat. So it's gonna be a little different than, um, you know, a Halloween on the high seas sailing that you might do this time of year. There are special presentations throughout the cruise. I was able to see people like Tony Baxter and Bill Farmer and huge names. Uh, voices of Disney that were um, so educational and inspiring. We were able to see Broadway performances that we never would have been able to see otherwise. I cannot say enough good things about the quality of this cruise. Now, you do have to be a Disney Vacation Club member in order to book, or you can go as the guest of a Disney Vacation Club member, and you do have to have purchased direct from Disney if you purchased in the last few years when they put the new resale restrictions in place. Um, I do know too that Disney just recently upped the minimum amount you have to buy direct in order to get all of those benefits to 100 points. Points. Um, so if this is something you're interested in, you may want to consider that. If you have questions about purchasing Disney Vacation Club resale, I would strongly suggest you reach out to my friend Chantel, who I actually sailed with on this journey, and I will put all of her contact information in the description box below. She is with DVC by resale. I'm not going to show you these in any particular order because I just kind of have them piled everywhere. So so let's just let's just start. Let's just start. <laughs> The first thing they gave us um, is the 2019 Disney Vacation Club member cruise lanyard. And we did receive this when we first got on the ship. This was the 20th member cruise. So we had all kinds of commemorative stuff specifically for the 20th. The ship was decked out with special artwork. By the way, how they do that in one, basically just a couple of hours is, as you know, one uh, shipload of passengers is getting off and we were getting on. So that was really, really fun. I did also get a lanyard because I am a silver castaway key club member. Um, so that was nice as well. Then we received this little special booklet, which had all of our breakouts in it for the week. And I love this because it really gave every day of the journey, what presentations were going to be offered. And this really helped us to be able to plan our trip. And I liked that it was the right size. It could just fit into my lanyard. So the next gift they gave us is this beautiful tumbler. It is a Tervis tumbler. It says Disney Vacation Club Member Cruise 20th Voyage 2019. And you guys know, you know, Tervis is always a great brand. And this is a an actual Tervis cup. Um, it's got the Tervis logo on the bottom. Hello. Um, so yeah, absolutely love this. And I will definitely be using this at home quite a bit. So I was really happy with that. We also received this very cool fan. And the thing I love about this fan is not only is it a portable fan, which is really helpful in the Disney parks, um, but also the bottom is like a lipstick charger uh, for your phone. So it's got a USB charger on the bottom. And I thought that was really cool. And let me see if that's charged. And it's just, can you hear that? Just a really nice little fan. Don't really need that today in Atlanta, but it does say DVC. Oh, there it goes into high gear. 
Oh, my goodness. You really are going crazy. Um, it says DVC member cruise. That is a USB chargeable fan. And I thought that was really fun and also super helpful. This next item that they gave us was a reusable straw. It actually came in this fun little pouch and I'll open this up and show it to you. Um, it's basically just your basic stainless steel reusable straw as well as um, a little brush for us to clean the straw out with. So that was really nice with uh, Disney Parks and Disney Cruise Lines doing away with regular plastic straws. If you don't like the feel of the paper straws, these are a great alternative. And I love that it came in a little carrying pouch. So that was really nice. The same day that we got the straw, we also received this really cute pouch. And inside this pouch was something super helpful that I've actually talked about in all of my packing videos. And that is a packable backpack. Now this one, I haven't opened it up yet. So I'm going to open it up with you guys, but it is a cabin friendly foldable backpack. Everyone had told me to make sure that I brought an extra suitcase and I did leave plenty of room and it was tight, but I was able to get everything back home. Oh, and this is actually super cute. Um, this would be great to use as a day bag. Hold please, I'm just kind of zipping it up so you guys can see. I didn't realize that it said Disney Vacation Club member cruise on it. Cute little backpack. This would work great as a pool bag or as a beach bag. Um, that is darling and has a little zipper pocket right there. It has a zipper pocket there and then it has another little zipper pocket inside so there's a lot of features on this for a little packable backpack and it's even got a little side area so you could stick your water bottle in there so that's even nicer than i thought it was the next item i'm going to show you guys is a mug and of course they were doing a lot of selling of disney vacation club on the member cruise it certainly isn't high pressure but they do have member celebrations every day there are guides all throughout the, the ship that are more than happy to talk to you about adding on to your membership we received a lot of riviera merchandise so this little box contains a really sweet coffee cup. The only issue I have with this, and this is just me being ridiculous, um, it's the right size that it really should have come with a saucer because it's this smaller size, but it's really cute and it just says Disney's Riviera Resort. Let me see if I can zoom in on that. Disney Vacation Club. I thought that was really pretty. Oh, but wait, there's more. We also received this fantastic hat that says Disney Vacation Club Member Cruise 20th Voyage. And on the back, it says DVC member. I think there's dog hair on there. I had it on the, <laughs> on the carpet. That's what happens at my house. When you have a big white dog, that's what happens. And you see it says 20th voyage right there. And I actually love it too, because it's got the little hibiscus down here to represent that we were in Bermuda and it's adjustable and it has the little Disney Vacation Club logo on the little metal strap. So this is a cute hat. I will definitely be wearing that. Now the entire thing was film festival themed. So we saw a lot of Don Hahn documentaries and things like that. I'm going to put a link right here to the live stream I did where I went into a little more detail about what was actually on the ship. But one of the days we came in and we had this lovely box and I will open it up and show you what's inside. These are actually coasters and the top says Member Cruise Film Festival, October 5th through 12th, Disney Magic. And when you open them up, they are these really cool coasters. And you can see we've got, look at that, isn't that cool? So, and then on the back, it's the actual cork, which I love. Um, so this is such a cool piece. The artwork in the middle, I think you've got, I think it's supposed to represent like the Statue of Liberty and then a, a film strip at the same time since the cruise initiated in New York and sailed to Bermuda. So this was a set of four. So there's actually two of them in this little case. And then here is the other one and they're exactly the same, but it's nice to have that set of four coasters. I really love those. But wait, there's more. We also received amazing things like this unbelievable pop-up book. Now I am not gonna open this and I have a very special reason as to why I'm not going to open it, but it is a frozen pop-up book, frozen by Matthew Reinhardt from the renowned paper engineer, Matthew Reinhardt, comes a beautifully detailed retelling of Frozen, featuring delightful illustrations and dozens of shimmering pop-ups. This book is valued at $40 and the reason I'm not opening it 
is that there was a sign language interpreter on our ship named Kiera. I actually chatted with both sign language interpreters. I learned a lot about what she does, that she is employed by Disney Cruise Line. Um, Disney Cruise Line is required if their ships sail in American waters to have an interpreter on board if they have a guest that requires it. But if they don't, um, Disney is one of the few cruise lines that still provides that free of charge. So it was really interesting. Um, Chantel and I were just chatting with her um, in LaGuardia as we were leaving, and she mentioned that they did not get the uh, the gifts and that she really liked this one in particular. So I grabbed her address and I'm actually going to be mailing this to Kiera. So Kiera, this is on its way to you. Um, she said she was gonna subscribe to the channel. So if you did, comment below and I will stick this in the mail to you tomorrow. But um, I've had, I've seen other people open it up and it just looks beautiful. You can kind of see on the back um, what the pop-up artwork looks like. And it is signed by Matthew Reinhardt, the artist. So I thought that was really, really cool. Okay, this next item is a little bit more on the practical side. When we first saw this in the room, I was like, what the heck is that? But now that I realize what it is, I can totally see why it would be useful. This is actually a safe so that if you go to the beach and you wanna go for a walk and you don't wanna leave your valuables just sitting on a beach chair, it has a combination lock and then it's got this thing here. Let me show you. So you can wrap it around your beach chair and it's got a combination lock and then I'll show you the inside. Um, it's got a key that goes to it as well. So you could just wrap that around your wrist and it is waterproof and sandproof. So you can put your phone and your valuables um, you know, around a beach chair as you go for a walk on the beach. And this says Disney Vacation Club member cruise on it. So I thought that was a really just a practical gift that I probably really will use at the beach. So that was really nice. All right, then we move on to the Maleficent themed gifts. Now, because we were able to watch the world premiere of Maleficent and I loved it. I thought it was very, very well done. Um, it just came out today in theaters. So I'm not sure how the reviews are doing. I would not recommend it for young kids, but for elementary school kids and up, it is a really great film and the night that we did it in our staterooms before we went to the premiere, we had these really fun bags that just say uh, Disney's Maleficent Mistress of Evil. And then when you open it up, we had these great Maleficent horns, which we all were instructed to wear to the premiere and they actually took a super fun picture. So that's floating around somewhere. And also, and I didn't even see this until I got home, this Maleficent Mistress of Evil eye mask. So, you know, how great is that? If you're on a flight or if you can't sleep or you're trying to take a nap, who doesn't need a great eye mask? Especially if you have a lot of evil to do, you need to get your rest if you have a lot of evil to do. And speaking of evil, when we went back to the cabin for our Disney villains on deck, which unfortunately we were not able to do outside because of the weather. Um, and again, go to the live stream if you want more on that. But this was our really fun light up. It says Disney Villains on Deck, presented by Disney Vacation Club. So it was a little bit different twist on the Halloween party. And we all wore these and that was a super fun gift to have. And then we also received this amazing book by Don Hahn. I think this is maybe my favorite thing that we got. Now, obviously it's very big and it's very heavy. So this was a little bit challenging. I made sure I put this in my bag that was going on the cabin with me, but this is Don Hahn, Yesterday's Tomorrow, Disney's Magical Mid-Century. And Don actually apparently spent uh, two full days in a uh, conference room signing these for everyone on board. So this is signed by Don Hahn. And this book, you guys, I cannot wait to actually read it. You've got some behind the scenes things in here that um, I have never seen before. And you guys know I am such a buff when it comes specifically to Disneyland history. And just page after page of not only beautiful photographs and vintage photographs like this one here, um, but also just great historical writing. And Don Hahn is just such a fantastic storyteller. And I cannot wait to dive into this book more. Um, um, this is going to be just a treasured keepsake. I am such a book lover. And uh, yeah, this this was the one gift. I mean, all the gifts are great, but this is the one that I was like swooning over. And this will not, this will be a prized possession of mine for years to come. Then... <laughs> 
but wait, there's more. Um, we also received, and this actually came on, um, actually, I'm gonna save that one for last because that one's really, really cool. Um, they also gave away gifts every day if you went over and visited them at the DVC member desk. Um, Chantel grabbed this for me. I didn't go every day, but this is just a little, it just says Disney Vacation Club member cruise, and this is to go on the back of your deck chair so that your towel doesn't blow away or your beach chair, and it just has a little ribbed area right there, so that's really nice. Um, oh, and that just gives you instructions on how to use it, so that's kind of a fun little keepsake. And then we received this fun little tote and it said something that came with this tote about, you know, to carry your treasures home. And I'm like, there is no way you would be able to fit everything they gave us into this tote bag, but it is a very nice tote. It is canvas and it has this little Disney Vacation Club. I don't know if that's gonna show up on camera, but kind of a fun little logo on there. It says Disney Vacation Club member cruise on the padded handle. And I'm trying to see, oh, and it does have a zippered pocket inside and it is lined. So that's really nice if you were gonna use this as a beach bag, you wouldn't have to worry if anything wet got in there. Um, and it has a handle like this and then it also has a shoulder strap. Okay, now these next few items, um, <laughs> can y'all believe? Yep, we're still going. Um, I'm trying to get through these as quickly as possible, but you know, I, I'm telling you, when they tell you that you get a lot of swag, you get a lot of swag. This, I believe, was in our rooms the very first night, and it says Disney Vacation Club member cruise. I doubt it's picking it up, but it's actually in the fabric. And when you open it up, it's this beautiful keepsake box and you've got Lion King original artwork here and it says member cruise 20th, 2019. So again, tying in the 20th voyage. Now, when we received this, um, it was empty, but then every day when we got back, there would be another print that we could store in this keepsake box. So let me pull those prints out and I'll show you what they are. They're just gorgeous. This first one is original artwork created for Disney's Riviera Resort, and they all have plastic on them and they're ready to be framed if you wanted to do so. They would make like a nice little anthology. I might put something up on the wall here in my office. So this first one is Mickey and Pluto lounging at Disney's Riviera Resort, or actually more like actually on the Riviera itself. There you go. And then this one they did on the night of the villains party. This of course is original Disney animation. Oh my gosh. All right, so each one of these has on the back what it is. That is so cool, I just now saw this. This one says, swept up in the spirit of Halloween and eerily inspired by the 90th anniversary of Walt Disney's debut, Silly Symphony Short, The Skeleton Dance, Disney Vacation Club and D20, D23, the official Disney fan club present this archival image of the shorts dancing undead. So that's really, really cool. How cool is that? And then this one, you know what? I am gonna look up this one as well because now I'm curious now that I've started opening them. Disney legend and Imagineer Tony Baxter, who was on the ship with us, uh, has long admired the artistry of his fellow, of his mentor, fellow Disney legend, Claude Coates, whose masterful backgrounds are seen in such classic Disney animated films as Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs, Pinocchio and Cinderella. Tony was so moved by Claude's backgrounds that he asked his mentor to guide him in creating this tribute to the great animated films that inspired his Disney career. Upon its completion, Tony proudly displayed this painting of a fairy tale European village in his office. So that is Maleficent. And this one was in our room the day that we saw Maleficent. Absolutely love that. This one was, um, I did not get to see the behind the scenes of Frozen 2, but I heard that it was amazing. Would have loved to have seen that, but there we've got a scene from Frozen 2 that is just gorgeous. So I loved all of those and I love that they gave us the keepsake box to keep them all in so that they're safe and sound. And just, you know, what a beautiful keepsake. Absolutely love that. And we're almost done, you guys. This I have not opened yet. My son actually is begging me for this because he wants it for his dorm room and I'm not sure if I'm gonna part with it yet. We have this wonderful throw and I haven't opened it, but I know it says member cruise food, member cruise 
film festival on it. Uh, movies are like blankets for the soul, snuggled into our favorite cinematic stories. We believe that anything is possible, that a genie can grant wishes, that a lion can be king, and that a spork in existential crisis can be a perfectly good playmate. Inspired by the comforting quality of the silver screen and fueled by our tendency to take things too literally, Disney Vacation Club wraps you in the magic of the movies with this 2019 member cruise film festival blanket symbolically woven into its theatrical threads are epic memories of our cinematic celebration and warm wishes for cozy movie nights to come. So that was one of the things I loved you guys is every single gift came with a story. Like they were, they put so much thought and intentionality into each and every one of these gifts. I'm actually now really curious to learn more about, you know, the behind the scenes of how they come up with the various gifts because each member cruise has its own specific set of gifts and these were specific to the 20th anniversary. So, oh my gosh, you guys, look at this. Ah, look at this. <laughs> It says Disney Vacation Club member cruise festival. And then you've got that artwork I told you about that's kind of got New York and the film, or I guess it's just the film strip. But this is so thick and cozy. This, I, I did not realize what a great blanket it was when I opened it. I kind of just thought it was a, a like a thin little blanket, but boy, it is not. This is super warm and super high quality. Gosh, well done, Disney. That is amazing. Okay, um, this next item, uh, and we're almost done. This one was on our door, and I've tried to keep them together, but it's a little bit tricky. These are all magnets, and what they say is staying magical as a Disney Vacation Club member year after year, and it talks about all the things that you might do on the cruise. I guess what you would do um, is put this on your door depending on which activity you were doing. So if you were relaxing at the pool, you could put that on your door. If you're exploring the world in today's port, you would put that on your door. This one says, time to raise the curtain in the theater. This one says indulging in the buffet at Cabana's. This one says shopping till we drop on board the ship. This one says entertaining our appetite at dinner. That's really cute. Um, renewing and rejuvenating at Senses Spa. Got that. Uh, time for a deck party spectacular. And then of course the main one which says staying magical as a Disney Vacation Club member year after year. How fun is that? Okay, and then that brings me to the last gift that they gave us. Hold on, let me just make sure I got them all. Did I get them all? I think I did, I think that was everything. Um, this last item was in our room on the last day. It is a limited release pin. Sailing to Bermuda and Boston, well, we didn't go to Boston, but you know. From the Big Apple, our milestone 20th member cruise voyage has been one for the ages. All of us at Disney Vacation Club, thank you for making memories with us, and we look forward to welcoming you home again soon. And it came in this gorgeous box. This is a limited release pin. It says, Member Cruise 20th Voyage 2019. Make sure that's gonna focus in so you guys can see it. It is a pin on pin. You have got the lighthouse from Bermuda and you have got the Statue of Liberty, which if you guys wanna see how beautiful that was when we sailed away, I actually did a video set to music about that on my other channel, and I'll put a link to that right here if you wanna go check that out. And it is dated, and it's just a beautiful pin and such a great keepsake. And that is everything. I cannot tell you how impressed again that I was with this voyage. A couple of you had asked me, is the Disney Vacation Club cruise more expensive now, I, I have never done a seven night sailing, so I'm not sure. I, I think it is slightly more expensive, but what I also know is there really are no discounts available. So you're definitely paying a premium for this experience. Um, there were a lot of members, obviously, that had used points to pay for it. You don't have to use points. You can absolutely pay cash, which is what we did. 
And um, it was just uh, such a different experience than any other Disney cruise I'd ever been on. I cannot recommend it enough. So if you are a DVC member, if you're thinking of becoming a DVC member, uh, this is definitely one thing uh, to get excited about. And it's one of those ways where membership really does make you feel super special and so much a part of the Disney family. Thanks for joining me. Um, I, I would apologize for it being so long, but we just had a lot to get through. So again, if you're not subscribed, please make sure you do that. I'll have lots more great cruise videos coming up. I also have more videos coming up from my latest Walt Disney World trip. I will see you very soon. Please be good to each other. Bye-bye.